Hi guys, welcome again. And where could it be more than just noise pollution? Well, Emma told uh, Shoes Samaki Samaki after a tiff with Trevor Ombija over noise pollution. Well, weeks after an online spat between Emma to and Citizen TV news anchor Trevor Ombija over noise pollution in residential areas, the former beauty queen has revealed that she intends to take the battle to court. Well, Miss To said she will sue the owner of Samaki Samaki Seafood and Jazz over noise pollution. Speaking during a Twitter space discussion hosted by Nation, Thursday evening on the pros and cons of having bars within residential area, Miss To said her noise pollution complaints were initially ignored until she turned to the social media. Well, she also complained that the patrons of the restaurant park outside her house have hazardly and also use the space outside her house as taxi drop-off point, increasing security risk. Let me just quote her. The establishment across my place started off by saying it was a jazz bar. Okay, they played jazz and if you played jazz at a low volume, it's uh, palatable. It's not going to vibrate my house, but there are certain beats that you'll play. And I live an old house. It literally vibrates my house. Well, Miss Stoke claimed the loud music from the restaurant has inconvenienced several neighbors, including an embassy that sits on the other side of the club. Well, quoting what she said, she said, even after the music is switched off at 3 or 4 a.m., the patrons are still talking loudly to each other because they have been listening to loud music and shouting at each other. We are still not able to sleep. While during the discussion, the clari uh, she clarified that her intention is not to have any business shut down, but to have them respect the people who live where they come to open their bars and clubs. Well, the ex-model Emma has revealed that she is among residents at the uh, Center of Vocal Complaints Against the Noisy Establishment in Kileleshwa. After a popular city and TV news anchor, Mr. Ombuja uh, kicked up a social media storm with his take. On the looming closure of 43 bars and entertainment joints in Nairobi. Well, that is just a reflect of how all this started until now it is now getting to court. Well, in a clip that has since gone viral... It since went viral then. Mr. Omidji is seen on a tape singling out a resident that he said he had uh, tried to pl uh, placate amid noise complaints in the residential estate where the entertainment joint in question is located. Well, Ombija was speaking during a meeting between 43 bar owners whose establishments are embarked from uh, closure and the Nairobi County Deputy Governor Njoroge Mushiri. Hours after the clip went viral and upset Miss To took to Twitter to, com uh, to confirm that she is the resident in question, adding that an offer was made to soundproof part of her house. However, she vehemently denied some of the allegations that he made about the situation, including in a tweet that he posted on a Wednesday morning. Well, Mr. To say, this is me in bed struggling if you think this is normal or a vendetta against Venice, then you are very mistaken. All I have ever asked her was, ask your people to lower the music. I will share the communication. And basically, she shared some videos of how the noise was actually reaching to her house. While well, she also shared videos of her home in which loud music can be heard coming from a nearby establishment. Well, she also expressed her disappointment with the comments made by the news anchor. I tend to quote her again. Uh, I have been very consistent in my cry about the said establishment and I have never attacked them or even said the name here. I am truly the wrong lady to in uh, intimidate. I am not even shocked that 
uh, th that's how he thinks he can solve this. I have been very clear about what they should do. In the meeting with the county official, Mr. Ombija had proposed that they institute a minimum threshold for the number of residents complaints that necessitates action from authorities. He said he feels that loud entertainment joints should not be closed over a few complaints from neighboring residents, noting that it should require at least half of the people living in the area complaining to warrant the action. Well, in addition to that, he went on to state that he had he has been struggling to deal with noise pollution complaints due to his establishment, while citing an example of how he offered to soundproof an aggr aggrieved resident house. He also proposed that completely residents in a state be required to produce home lease documents before further action is taken by city authorities. Well, in that take, uh, so many reactions came through. And while on that beat, uh, the former Law Society of Kenya president Nelson Harvey criticized this opinion, saying that noise pollution should be contained. Well, it could. Trevor Ombija, you don't offer to seal our ears. Noise pollution must be contained. Many other Kenyans also expressed their disappointment with his comments, leading the TV presenter to trend at one number one on Twitter on that morning. Well, Trevor Ombija also came through to defend himself. Anyway, guys, it is clear that now Emma Tour has chosen a different direction. Like she said, she is that woman you don't want to mess with. Well, she has taken the court way and let's sit back and wait and see what's going to be, what's going to unfold. Well, guys, give us your opinion through the comment section. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell and see you in our next upload. Thank you for watching and bye for now.